Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be working on this little cute Gremlin um, gizmo cup here that I made for my friend. Um, it's her birthday party today so you guys know me. I'm always making gifts the last minute so uh, this is what I came up with. Her name is Senda and I really hope she likes it. This was really easy to do so let me show you how I did it and let's get started. Here on my Gregor Design Space and as you can see I have already layered and um, got gizmo ready to go here. Okay, so as always, you guys know I like to use whatever free things I can find, and I just typed in Gremlins SVG. I scrolled through a couple here. You can go like on Etsy, and there's many on sale that you can buy if you don't want to go through the trouble. But I found this picture here that works perfectly. So what we're going to do is just save this. And sometimes here I get the WebB file. I don't know how to go around that or what happens, but... What I do is just copy the picture, go on my paint for my computer, and then just paste it. And then it's here. And I can save it. And now it's saved to my computer. You can just go into Upload Images and Upload Gizmo and just clean him up. So you would just start clicking and you can see the background's removed. And now you have to click every white spot to just get the outline. And if I preview, you can see I'm just getting the outline here. So now if we preview, this is the image that we're going to get. So then just apply and continue, and then we save this as a cut image. If you don't want to clean it up on Cricut, that's fine. We can also go to png to svg.com. Here I can upload the image. And even though it only has two colors, um, that's actually fine because we're going to layer it later. So I'm going to just put two colors, black and white, and generate. Now here it still looks the same, but it's layered into two different colors. So now I'm just going to download this, and it's right here. So now I go over to Cricut Design Space and click Upload, Browse, and I'm going to go to Downloads, which is this one right here. And here, since it's already layered, you don't have to clean up or do anything. We just give it a name, basically. And upload. And I'll show you the difference. This is the one that we cleaned up, and this is the SVG that we saved from PNG to SVG.com. Okay, and this is the one that we cleaned up. Um, everything is just one layer, and we just basically have the outline. This is the SVG that we downloaded from the website. Here you could see it has two layers, like I said, a black one and a white one. All you have to do is just delete the white one and it's the same as this one. And you saw how easy it was. There was no cleaning up or anything. I just basically uploaded it. Bonus tip, if you have a file that has color, it also works. So here is Gizmo with color. And you would just add more palettes but I find it easier just using the outline since we're going to layer later. Um, this website's not that great at separating colors. Um, sometimes like you could click on them and you could tell it what color. So this brown is the dark one. This one is the ears. The white is obviously the white fur. Uh, this other white one I don't think we need. So, But this brown is this brown here. So right now if I generate it, it probably won't look great and it probably won't have the outline. Yeah, so here it kind of just blends in so it doesn't have the outline. What we do is just add another color, click on that color, and then click on the black. And now you basically told this color that it's going to separate the black. So now we generate it. It's hard to see because it's brown, but like all the little black details are coming out now. So you can save it like this. I did save it. And this is what it looks like. You can see I have many layers. But I'm going to ungroup it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't do like the perfect layers. Like here's the outline. That's usually all I want. But you can see here that like you don't want to be cutting all those little pieces. Like it's not as clean as you want it to be. So yeah, that's why I only stick to the outlines. Okay, moving on. It, like I said, it doesn't really matter 
what file you use. This is SVG and this is the PNG that I just um, cleaned up. Same thing, we just need the outline. So I'm gonna delete one of them. And I have another video where I show you guys how I layer um, all my images. You guys can go look at that one. But here we go, this is layered gizmo. Um, and once you're happy with your design, we just group. So that way, like you move it around and nothing like starts to break apart. Since this is gonna be a Starbucks cup, I'm gonna upload my Starbucks template. If you guys want the template, I've shown where I've gotten this for free and I have the link where you can get it yourself too, for free. And it is the first thing I ever uploaded, here you go. So I'm just gonna ungroup. And since I'm not gonna use a Starbucks cup, I don't really care what that hole is. You can just leave it like that, but if you really wanna get rid of it, just contour it. And there we go. And now we can just put Gizmo right in the front. And this will basically tell me like what size I can make him uh, so he can fit like really big on the bottle. I'm not just gonna leave it like that. I wanted to add a little bit more detail. This is for a friend named Sunda. So um, I'm going to add her name. And here is the Hello Honey font that I'm always using. It's free from thefont.com. But now I wanted to add like a cute quote that's kind of funny. You know how you're not supposed to add water to the gremlins? But this is a water cup. So I wanted to type just add water as like a little joke. And if you wanna separate them, I think separating them would be better. So I'm just gonna delete this and just make different text box for everything. Add. And then I wanted it to go like, just something playful. Maybe it's like that. And then the name I rotate it 90 degrees so it could just go like right on the side. And here we go. This is what we're going to be cutting. So I'm just going to save this real quick. This right here is only for my reference to see how like the sizing and all that stuff. But I'm just going to hide it now. Or you could just delete it up to you. Now we can just go over and make it. Here on our mats we have all our different colors. The white, the brown, the skin color, and the black. And now we just hit continue. This is the cup I'm gonna use. Um, I feel like she might like purple. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm just gonna use this purple one right here. And here we have everything cut out and now we're just gonna start waiting. Now we have our little gremlin. So now here's our cup and this should be nice and dry. First I'm gonna see if I can cover this logo. I've seen people remove it, but um, I didn't remove it today. So I'm gonna see if I place him like right here to cover that logo, if it look okay. And that's actually perfect. So yeah, we could just cover the logo with Gizmo here. And so now we're just gonna treat this like a sticker our decal. I'm just going to peel it off. And I always like to start from the middle so I kind of curve it and then just, you know, kind of see where it's going to go. And once I'm happy with it, I let the middle just kind of stay like that. And then just with my fingers, since it has all these grooves and stuff, I like to just go like in a straight line and then out. Be careful with all these little things because I have like run my finger and like taken them off before so we don't want to do that. You can use your spatula but like I said there's all these little grooves so I feel like our own skin kind of like pushes it better. So just stick this on as best as you can. And 
and you can see inside there's no bubbles. These are just like confettis. <laughs> so I will be using the heat gun later just to like melt everything in there a little bit better. And once I use the heat gun, um, when it's still warm, I do give like another press with my fingers just to make sure it's as stuck as possible. And now I'm going to put her name right here. And here we go, our cup is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As you can see, it's very easy to just customize and create your own cups. If you guys like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.